episode. And yeah. Now we have to help Jason Bright to clear out some. I think it's night walkers or something. I don't know, it's been a couple of days playing this. The one place I haven't checked is the basement in his research lab. So, just gonna check down there. Bunch of ghouls. There's a basement. See what's down here. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Oh, whiskey's worn off.
with him. I have another one. Oh, really?
guess I'll talk to him. Antler says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. Great journey. All praise the leader's divine will. There you are. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Head to the basement and talk to it. What comes next? Down 
into the basement. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. 
I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Was the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. What is this far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, it's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Now, where's Chris? Evening. Oh, there you are. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Uh, the radiation down it would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? 
Hauser, Mitchell, no. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversom won't mind getting irradiated. Haversom won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversom won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. You left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster! A monster! I'm not gonna fail, but I'm gonna press it anyway. You wouldn't trust a fool, would you? I see your ploy, Smoothskin. I won't fall for your trap. You can plainly see that I'm a ghoul myself. You can't turn me against my flock. So the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down a igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Can you give me any tips for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Time for me to go. Later. Stop at no back anyway. There's um, ammo and stem packs. And I'm at over and
talking so much because this is my first time doing this. Can you maze them? Yeah. What can I do for you? That's not. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need yeah, sterile yeah. medical supplies. Thanks. Bye. No, thank you. And that's why it's got no back. I get it. Love it. Hey there. If you want to buy something from a... What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. It's not you. Come back soon now. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah, see ya. you again. What is it? No more. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. Nothing new. Know nothing about Boone's wife. Get up, Daisy. I want to speak to you. Your travel's been going all right? Nothing new as well. Watch your six out there. Oh, I will. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? 
How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. What's been going on in town lately? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. What's the quickest way out of this dump? You can jump out the window for all I care, mister. You got no right to come in here and start criticizing our town. Folks work hard to keep it clean and safe. We do the best we can. But still, there's always some of you finicky types that there's just no pleasing. Oh, goodbye. Watch out for strangers. Find anything? Not yet. Well, don't worry yourself too much over it. We'll get by. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Stuff. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Goodbye. So long. friend be seeing you I'm gonna leave you here, so if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time